Schneider Co-ops, Vampire Counts, and Von Karsteins with Durf. Who's over here? I don't know if we... So he's got his army here, his army here, his lot is here, his fellow is here. Victor's here. Karakern is probably his next best target. Looks like we have two provinces. Greenskin Rebels? I might have to take Oakenhammer. Check out Gorst. The, the brother's Gorst corpse cart. So, uh, as you can see, He's like skewered four of his brothers onto the front of this cart like horses. Plus, there's all these corpses which may or may not be his family. They didn't actually tell you how many brothers there were in the brothers' course. But the flavor text implies that he actually liked his brothers. Dietrich is coming up here. Literally going to attack Kazid uh, Ikalaz. Karak Kadrin. If they're alone, Shelem will probably get attacked. I will alone. <clears throat> we'll stabilize public order wise over here. I'm kind of paralyzed there. Prog. We get like minus 11 if I take the army out. So I'm just gonna have to raise dead on the way, I guess. Probably raid my way through here to get to here. Goblin Big Boss, Goblin Fanatics, Orc Biggins, Trolls, Night Goblin Archers. Wow. There's just a lot of income coming out of there. I'm not making anything. War boss. And two big bosses. And nothing else. War boss. Black orcs. Fanatics. Archers. And. Uh, Boar Boy begins. Not a worrisome army. There's two corpse carts enough. Generation.
So Vigor Mortis. It's just physical attacks, so it might be good here. Two of those. I'm just waiting for Dirk to come back, basically. Have his turn. Ah, uh, thank you. I do have Lance Knights here, which will do pretty well. Balefire Corpse Cart gives Vigor Mortis, as well as Balefire. Reduces the power recharge rate of the enemy player. And the more units they have in range, the more it does, and it still gives Vigor Mortis. I've had it. Screw the lid down and then worry about the garbage. It's right there. You literally used it earlier. It's awesome. So as Master of the Dead, Gorst regenerates everyone within 30 meters. The Unholy Lodestone gives regen for 40 meters. He also gives Vigor Mortis. Personal regeneration. Alright, she's going to be pretty strong. Hopefully Durf doesn't take too long. It'd be an absolute wank. Sorry about that. Welcome back. Yeah, all right, let's do this. <clears throat> Not going to bring you any flesh to craft, Ferdinand. Not yet. I'll recruit you another skeleton, though. Look at this army by Mouselin. Yeah. Armies, rather. I see it. The Red Duke's army is pretty solid. Uh, yeah, it's my best army right now. I, I think Vlad would still win. Really? Yeah. Dark magic is mine to command. Holy balls. Look at the units to raise in this province. I can get Grave Guard with great weapons. Damn. Don't mind if I do. Too bad they don't count skeletons. It's 
so I can still get a regular Grave Guard, a Black Knight, a Black Knight with Lancers and Barding, um, shitloads of basic units. A Balefire Corpse Guard? Yeah. It gives Vigor Mortis, like, like regular cards do, which is the um, physical buffs. And it also, um, the Balefire, the more enemy units are within its radius, the more the enemy uh, power recharge is reduced. Let's grab one of these two. Next turn, all my income is going to Raising Dead, basically. <laughs> I'm trying to get two armies up here. Destroy the College of Pyrotechnics, swing back, betray the Red Eye, swing <coughs> down, take out Carrick Kadrin, because Carrick Kadrin, I think, is a lone settlement. Yeah, they're the only one there. I could probably afford to spare an army over there now, actually. <laughs> um, so the, I'm, also, I'm also probably going to take Oak and Hammer, because right now it's Greenskin Rebels. But for you, your next target should probably be Carrick Hearn, because I think they only have Middle Vogelbark and Carrick Hearn itself, and then that faction's gone. Well, I need I need a place that's a gold mine or a money building. Well, Carrick Hearn itself has an iron mine. Yeah, it's better than nothing, but all right. Even all the gold for yourself, asshole. Probably. Uh, this necromancer is going to. Fort Soul is going to be a pain in the ass. You can just ignore it for now. Do it a carcasson. And if he doesn't get killed, then he can go to my other quest too. I can finish off the armor of Templehof and the Liber Noctis. The Lieber Noctis. Yeah, apparently every lord I play has Lieber something. <laughs> hey, Babamonicus. Does your name appear in Lieber Bubonicus? Is yours? Probably. You're fired. is making some moves. I'm slowly taking away the Skaven influence in Volkskrog. <clears throat> I want some undead rebels take over. I have an army in Prague just waiting. I'll probably have to go to war with Ostland once I clean up all the dwarves on my eastern flank. But once hey, I... brother. Yes? I showed a Christmas sweater I was going to get. You didn't? But um, once I take the mountains at the edge of the world here, what is that? Skull Takers. That's not good. Nice. I mean, nice. You look. I mean, I saw the link, and it has to have some modicum of quality if you're getting it from Hot Topic. Well. The store, I think, is owned by Hot Topic. I mean, the link's from Hot Topic. It's a ugly Christmas sweater that's Star Wars themed, and on the front of it, it has a picture of Chewbacca's face that says, all I want for Christmas is Chew. That's cute. Mine's, mine's, mine lights up, though, and I was surprised by that. I wasn't expecting it. And for me, it's perfect. It is. It's nice to do face cam when you're wearing it. Yeah, right. So I can get a Hell Steve, but I'm assuming I need to wait for a Barded Nightmare, right? Well, actually, I get one, like a turn, or one level. So. I mean, you may as well. Since <laughs> you only get 40 skill points, you may as well save for the amount you want. 
Which one's better? Um, the second mount has flying, I believe. Like it's okay, a, the second one. Then. Like it's the dark Pegasus. Ooh. I think. Six turns, so I can spend shitloads of money in Castle Drakenhof. So I, I want to. The problem is, I don't know if I want to go to war with the dwarves yet, or the dwarves yet, because going to war with the dwarves is going to be a bit of a bitch. Like, once I finish cleaning up these green skins and pyrotechnic dues, I'm attacking Carrick Cadron dwarves. I'm also going to try and take Oakenhammer from the green <clears throat> skin rebels so I can start spreading mad vampire corruption into Zufbar. So, I'll probably be attacking the dwarfs in the next 20 turns. Yeah. They, they stand no chance, basically. They have no allies. Nobody likes them. Annihilate them. Isabella can't take it on her own, though. Isabella can't do anything on her own. <laughs> hey! He's moderately useful. I mean, without Vlad around, Isabella can't do shit. She needs the, the backup of a strong immortal man. He just likes the vampiric D. Why don't you go that way? Vlad, you fucking twat. Yeah, well, Vlad isn't thinking right now. Vlad is busy. He's thinking with his dick. I mean, Isabella's over there, so... He's like, sorry, Isabella. Snapped off in the hole again. I think once you take that, you'll be able to go through the mountains this way. To the Carrick, without having to bother with the Empire Provinces. Yeah, my head's itchy. Uh, Alright. And then Karak Angazar should get Vampiric Corruption and eventually rebel. I think Schwarzhofen needs some more upgrades. Why does Schwarzhofen, or Schwarzhofen only have a wretched farmstead and not some sort of unique building? Because your capital is supposed to be Castle Tempelhof or Castle Drakenhof. And why does Tempelhof not have a unique building, damn it? Um, Bullshit. Because you suck. Fuck you. But, you know, eventually I'll be able to get the Von Karstein Court Hall in Castle Drakenhof. Fuck you. I'm a fire. If you attack me with fire, I will die because vampires don't like that. Yeah, well, I, I highly recommend you go do it. Do it. Just be glad Manfred can't come down and express his displeasure with your conduct. Once daddy's belt. Shouldn't, you shouldn't startle your girlfriend, brother. Uh, she smashed herself with her own tablet. Nice. Asshole. It's true. She just tell you to murder yourself? <laughs> no, she didn't just tell me to murder myself. She just said at least she didn't murder my stuff. She keeps putting things on the painting table and tell her not to. Probably eventually lead to divorce, but we'll see. It's technically an active war zone. It is an active war zone. There's lots of warriors 